by Mara, you can see the pinkening of the sky there. You can see the golden bellies of some very fat lions indeed. And, uh, well, shortly we'll show you some vultures. My name is James Henry. And it's very nice to be back out in the field with you. Hello, Fergus. Hello. Fergus is on camera. He is, and we're going to be out here probably, well, certainly into the darkness. I don't know exactly how many segments we're going to do from here, but our plan is to basically find three things. This is the sort of general directive. The one is lions, the second is wildebeest, and the third is signal. With those three things, we're fairly guaranteed, we hope, of some action. Well, we've got lions, there they are. And then well beyond them, by about, say, ooh, 300 meters, you can perhaps see a line of what probably looked like little black ants. Those are the wildebeest, but I'm not sure that we have a great deal of signal where those wildebeest are, so I'm not sure. And zebra, look at that. But you can see that the migration herds have now come up well north of where they have been before this year. There are many to the north of us, and even with our very favored Angama pride, they are now starting to come into their territory. We saw a small group there, and if this bunch don't look like they're going to get up and do anything, which I'm seriously doubting they will, because uh, they've certainly killed the wildebeest just down the road and then left it. I think that we will probably head back to the Angama Pride Territory as darkness falls and see what happens over there. Remember, you can talk to us, hashtag Safari Live. We're just as live as Taylor in the tent and Byron in the bush. You see how I did that there, no, Fergus? Mm -hmm. mm, very nice. And you can ask us anything you like, send us any questions or comments. We've had a very pleasant weekend here. We obviously did our TV show on Friday, on Saturday morning, and then this morning I came out here, found these lions, and well, they don't seem to have moved more than three inches. They very nearly killed a zebra this morning. He, a young foal that had been separated from the herd somehow, pretty much walked up to what, uh, almost, about 30 feet beyond the second tree trunk that you can see there and these lions could not have been more than 40 feet from it and they just sort of carelessly had a bit of a run but they didn't make any real attempt at cunning or stalking or anything else like that and so unsurprisingly they missed they were unsuccessful and they've just had to digest the five or six meals they probably ate last night so it is boon time or boom time here up in the Northern Triangle. The weather today was, well, looks like a storm coming in over the Olololo Escarpment, which is a little bit disturbing given the amount of time that we're going to be out here. And Ubombo girl, you say that they are fat, flat cats. They could not be better described. They are certainly fat, they are certainly flat, and uh, well, yes, they're certainly cats, aren't they? So what I think we'll do from here is probably just reverse and try and get down into that migration herd, see if we have signal there. I don't think we're going to, and if we don't, then we'll come back here, see what they're going to do, and if they don't do anything in the next half an hour or so, we'll head back towards the Angama Pride. Just in the distance I can hear the bang, 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 bang. Beautiful, beautiful vultures and storks all over the place here. Such a good time for them, of course. And I believe that Byron is having a lovely time out in the bush. He's always wanted to be known by the moniker Little Chief, and so that is why he is following the Little Chief. <laughs> 